All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. We're playing some standard, and we are playing a deck made by Polo Vitor Damo de Rosa that contains Polo Vitor Damo de Rosa. Uh, of course, Elite Spellbinder. We're seeing this card a lot in standard. Seeing a lot of this card in historic. Uh, Elite Spellbinder is very, very good. Three one for a three for a three one for a three mana. It's a flyer. It comes into play. You get to delay a card by two mana, which is awesome. Uh, really, really good. And we're seeing Winona. Winona's a card that's banned in Historic. Banned. It's banned in Historic. Uh, still legal in uh, in Standard. And a card that hasn't seen much play in Standard. Um, but is still one of the most powerful cards in the format. And uh, Winona gets some new friends here in uh, in Strixhaven. Of course, Spellbinder, as we said. Professor of Symbiology, not just a draft card. This was almost my best in show in white. And I'm really sad I didn't choose it. I actually chose Spellbinder as my best in show. But this card's really good. And, uh, of course, we see this card in draft is really, really good, but it's a non-human that can go to the board and get another non-human. So it's a curve in and of itself, which is kind of cool. And then, uh, but the big the big finish here, though, is Blade Historian. And uh, any human that affects the board in a great fashion is great with Winona. And similar to Angrat's Marauders, we can put Blade Historian in uh, off Winona, give all our stuff double strike, and go for a lethal crazy attack out of nowhere. A lot of good cards in this deck, too. Four Skyclave and four Bone Crusher, of course. And um, you get the rest. You know, Kenrith here for Winona also. Interesting, there's no off-color lands for Kenrith. These decks can play um, a bunch of pathways, but then they, then they can't play the Snarl. Snarl isn't even very good anyway, though. So I can see playing some off-color pathways. Maybe that's it for, for Kenrith. But the red and white abilities are also pretty reasonable. Uh, so that's that. Let's go. Let's just play it. Let's just do this. We got a lot to do today. Uh, Nicole had her appendix removed uh, two days ago. Uh, we got lots to do. Let's keep rolling. If you missed Cody's book club, it's on YouTube. You, you got it. You got to go watch it on YouTube, right? Remember, folks, we're brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take five percent off your next order if you use the code Jim Five at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, let's go. We have Winona. We have All Seed and Kenrith. Our opponent's playing Yorian, which is not uh, not super ideal. I think we're gonna keep. Uh, it's like fine. It's not great. Winona's good. So it's the snarls here. These snarls. Oh boy. Uh, not, not the best cycle of dual lands. Of course, we had the allied so, uh, cycle in, uh, in whatever it was, uh, Innistrad, and, uh, these things suck. Iris says, I think Snarls are better than fast lands in standard. You are out of your mind. Um, Snarls are barely playable, and fast lands are some of the, some of the best duels in standard. The Snarls come into play on, it's very, very close coming untapped here, you know? You switch, you switch, switch the order of these two, of these two lands, and this, this comes in daft. Uh, I think the snarls are really bad. All right, so I guess we'll hold this for a future snarl. Play this on white. Attack for one. Opponent's playing Yorian. Probably playing Salt Dial Ultimatum, which is not going to be good for us. It's just mono removal spells, and we can't stop the. Uh, I can't stop the ultimatum. Let's draw any creature here, please. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. So we keep a somewhat lackluster hand on the draw, on the play, I'm sorry. And we drew land land, which makes it much, much worse. Uh, we're in trouble. Callous Blood Mage is here. Uh, similar to Charming Prince, that none of the modes are particularly good. But it is a card, I guess. I think we're going to win Ona here. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Come on. Inconceivable. Can't stop drawing. I mean, we're just going to do it. We trade the LC will trade at worst case scenario. Take our free card here. Take our free hit. Come on, big money. Big money, Winona. Let's go. Alright, that was a bad. Spellbinder. Yorian binding verse binding. But two tap lands. But two tap lands. Oh my god, their hand is really good. I mean, unless they draw an untap land, they can't kill this Winona, which is really good. The all seed's gonna die though, and Winona can't do much anyway. Holy moly. I think it's just Yorian here. The problem is that the Binding will just find lands for Yorian anyway. Oh, oh, uh. Alright. Not ideal. 
Not ideal. The gain of life. No untapped land, please. No untapped land. I can't even look. That didn't sound good. Oh, come on. All right, we're good. Now we actually have mana removal for the next few turns. Uh, that wasn't the worst. So we can, like, play the doggy and then play Kenny next turn. They just have Banishing Burst, too, though. Oh, no. We just play Kenny and get it binding. Oh my god, this is bad. See, if, we, if we play Savior, they, they just vanishing first, the, uh, and they would just kill this. I guess we can just keep this alive. These Yorians are tough, though, because the bindings will get the mana for the Yorian. Oh my god. Uh... Oh, they don't have white yet, actually. Oh, that's fair. But they, they'll, have, they'll have white next turn, so... If I can they just, uh, they're just binding it. And then I doggy. Can he get at haste, too? I'm gonna send a doggy instead of go. They're gonna binding the spellbinder, and then I get to play Kenny and, and give it a haste attack. Yeah, I don't think Cow's Blood Mage is very good. Binding of the old gods. Yeah. So we'll save it. We'll save it. All seed of life's bounty. Oh man. So they have verse and Yorian. Yorian caught. They're they're one mana off just playing Yorian. We can like Kenny haste attack here and get in for a bunch. And then if they, if they draw a land for Yorian, though, we're just, like, probably dead. If we manage to fade an untapped land for a turn, maybe the Spellbinder can finish it off. Yeah, we'll just try it. Let's see what we can do. Kenny, my boy. Kenny, my boy. Let's go. Down to five. No untapped land means we can get the all seed in. And maybe the Spellbinder can finish it. No, come on! How do you hit all your marks all the time? Ugh, all right. Brutal. Just brutal. Oh, there now. Now Skyclave comes in. Uh. Okay. Um. It's a vanishing verse. We have all seed. They still have another. They still have, still have like another Yorian just like hanging out too. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're like so close to winning. Too. Our I was terrible this game too. Like, give me like give me a two drop in this game. This game's over. Skyclave the the binding so they can't Yorian it. Otherwise they can Yorian and verse. Oh, they can't verse actually too. Uh, Sky Cave Binding sucks, but we need to draw Winona. Winona Rider off the top. Winona Rider. They can leave up Verse or play Yorian. Haven, sure. Bone Crusher plays also. I mean, they have Verse 2, though, so... We need to get through the Yorian and other stuff. Alright, 92 call Bone Crusher, and there is Bone Crusher. There is Bone Crusher Giant. They should have verse in their hand, so we can't go for the we can't go for the kill at Spellbinder. 
Um, I'm just going to stomp the Blood Mage and play Bone Crusher and just say go. Um, they only have Verse. They can't really play a second Yorian. Um, it might just be able to go wide enough and kill them. Negate? What? Ugh. That's bad. All right. Uh, sure. This gives them a 4-4. Four, four. But now, now they've, like, put themselves dead to... Uh, the double strike creature. A lot of stuff here. This is fine. It's all about spellbinder protection and then just like cheesing the game out for a win. This is fine. I said pass. What are you doing? So like we can draw Winona, the double strike card, Stomp, um, Kenny. No, Kenny won't do it. Sure. No blocks. They're probably going to play another Yori in here. Oh, nope. They drew Elspeth's Nightmare. That is disgusting. Oh, they've drawn pretty well this game, unfortunately. Um, doesn't really matter. Whatever. So they can play another Yori in. Yeah, I think our outs are, uh, are basically gone now. I'm okay. Are they even playing ultimatum? I mean, not they're playing multiple, multiple colors, right? Selfless savior. Uh, we're dead. All right. All right. Tough game there. We kept a kind of loose hand. We still almost won, honestly. Um, we get to board in, I suppose, Redain. Maybe some Ox? Savior, All Seed, Spellbinder. Skyclave's pretty bad. I think Ox is fine. It's like a two of. Don't think I want Giant Killer. This is fine. This is fine. I'm good. Winona Rider. All right, so uh, obviously drawing both Ox in our opening hand was not part of the plan. Oh, man. Killing me here. Just killing me. We got a mulligan. We can't keep his end. The second Ox is just a redundancy, obviously, because, like, one will discard the of the other. What's well, mulligan? This is already, so it's basically already a mulligan. Oh, my God. Come on. All right, that's a curve, I guess. Um, I'm going to keep one of these over a... Yeah, sure. Oh, boy! I mean, not bad for a five-card hand, truth be told. <gasps> bark, bark. Okay. Now that we get the... Our, we, we get the sciences here, I think. Because we, uh... We draw a land, we'll cast Spellbinder. If not, I'll play Sciences. Could just play another Professor here, honestly. I think Inkling Summoning is better than the other one, so let's do that. Alright, they didn't have an Omen, or like a, a kill spell or anything. Blood Mage again. Blood Mage is pretty freaking good here. Oh my god. Alright. Mama said stomp you out. This is terrible for us though. We gotta go for it, I think. So that's 14.
How good is binding the old gods, you know? Just too good. Just too good. Haven? Okay. Don't have a, an else nightmare, please. Oh my god, come on! <sighs> Alright, uh, we're dead. Pretty, uh, pretty good. Upwind Sword says, kind of late, but good commentary on the Hoogland event. Well, I'm casting again this weekend, so I'm excited for it. You should be too. Kill me here. Oh, it's your land. Look at us. We're so lucky. All right. Spellbinder time. Let's go. We need a good Spellbinder. That is not... Uh, that's actually like... I mean, that's still real. That's insane. All right. Take Binding. Now they can Yori in the Nightmare. Kill my creature. To rest my thing. Oh my god. 80 card decks are unreal. Not fair. It's unfair. So they play Yorian, Flicker Nightmare, Kill Professor, get summoning into my hand. Right. Oh, look. Never mind. They drew a card. I, I gotta win. That's, I think it costs enough. Ah, right, whatever. I'm done. You win. You got me. Alright? You got me good. You got me good. Um. That's a tough one. That's a tough. Tough first match of the deck. We we we've been winning all day. We we had, we had to have a uh, you know a mulligan draw lands kind of kind of match in there eventually. So that's fine. That's fine. Not worried. Not worried. Keep rolling here. Keep rolling right along. Who's worried? I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Who's worried? Come on, Silver. We don't. I mean, we don't actually kind of had this problem where like they're just kind of inconsistent. They struggle to draw, you know, a good mixture of lands and spells. The mana base is always kind of eh. You know, it's a little definitely uh, a little tough, but that's okay. Snow covered forest is here. Love struck beast is here. Pretty good answer to Usher of the Fallen. Um, I think just Saber actually. So we're going to go Symbology into 3-drop into Historian. So let's have Savior in play to protect the Historian. Sentinel. Mountain. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. Um, yeah, I'm just a professor. And we're going to make a flyer here. And just say go. This card's great. So, Gruel with Sentinel. What's up, Slan? Hope your week is calming down. Glad Nicole is back. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Thanks for the resub. <laughs> okay. Um, one, one coming in. Sure. So, like, can we just draw one Ona? That'd be really cool if we should draw one Ona. We could, like, stop the 1-1. One, one. We wouldn't even know if they can, like, just by summoning a sick go. It's just, like, so hard to play an aggro deck when, when this card is legal. Like, Love Struck Beast, like, it beats us, it beats us a Savannah Lion on turn 1. It's an unstoppable wall on turn, on, turn, on turn 3, you know? Just so hard to play aggro when this card is legal. All right. I mean, is Embercleave here too? Oh my god. Welcome to a tour of Standard's Worst Nightmares. Yorian Embercleave. I don't even know what we can do here. Um, they cleave. Even Blade a story. If we had a Winona in our hand, we'd be in great shape. We actually drew, we drew a Historian, not the uh, Winona. Whatever. No blocks. Go nuts. They put the... Uh, the, the uh, the cleave on the love struck beast. We can like stomp this next turn. Hopefully they don't have a one one. All right, there we go. Yeah, love struck and bone crusher are both oppressively good against aggro decks. That's fourteen. Now we're at four. Okay, Winona. Nope. Uh, Winona Rider. So we're going to, uh, I guess, usher stomp here. Hoping I'm a 1-1. One, one. 
We'll leave back Usher to block Sentinel. I mean, they can, like, move the Embercleave over. Then I still block and I still survive, so we'll just attack. We do have Blade of Story in our hand, so we can, like, maybe go for a big attack. I guess they're going to have Love Shark because on defense, though, so it's kind of like a, a moot point. Alright, so we stomp you. Now they're in combat, so they can't play a 1 1. Block. Right? Block? Maybe? Maybe not? It's going to 3 that bad? I also like, if we just. I want to keep Winona as a good draw. If we draw Winona, they're just dead. Um, they can't have another cleave because they only have 4 mana. Um, that'll let me block here, actually. Valley. Oh, that's pretty sketchy. All right. We need Winona, folks. We need Winona right here, right now. Give me your energy, please. Give me your energy, please. Give me your energy, please. All right. Well, here's Blade Historian. Can I even cast Blade Historian? Because I can move the Embercleave to the Sentinel. I think it's fine, though. It's 4, 8, 12, 13, 14. It is 14 damage. What do they have here? Like, they played the Valley Tapped and not played a creature. I was thinking block. I'm so stupid. I'm an idiot. Whatever. Five. I just forgot they have a... Whatever. They move the Ember Cleave, Historian blocks the Sentinel, and soaks up enough damage to not die. And then we draw Winona and win the game, right? Then we just draw a million million lands. What do I think about Canopy lands in Standard? I think Canopy lands would be great in Standard. What are the, I don't understand what they're tanking about. They have all these cards in their hand. They're not playing anything. I just don't get it. I don't understand what's happening. And they chose to play a spell as a land last turn. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I think Canopy Lands are freaking awesome. They're better in aggro decks. Um, they stop Mana Flood. They're not as good in slow, grindy, mid-range decks, which is like the big thing of what Standard always is anyway. I don't know what's happening here, folks. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, Canopy Land's like... They're great. They're not played that much in Modern, you know? Attack with Sentinels. Now I have to block, because if they have a Ember Cleave, I'm dead anyway. If they Cleave, I just save it. So, like, they're just dead on the backswing. What are they doing? Our opponent has no idea what they're doing. Like, not even a clue. Uh, they're just dead. So, put it here. Yeah, all right, sure. That was a really weird game. I don't know what the hell they were doing. I don't, I don't have a clue. I have no idea. Uh, we should never have won that game in a million years, but we did, so cool. Let's keep playing. Uh, Giant Killer, come on down. Usher the Fallen, you gotta go get out of here, my friend. I love Usher the Fallen, super cool card, but not for us right now. Um, Giant Killer's great. All Seeds, Savior... Dragon fire is like kind of whatever. I'd like to cut a card. They have Snowlands in their deck. They were playing Snowlands. Verdane can make Embercleave worse. Doesn't die to Stomp. Um, is Verdane better than... I mean, Skyclave seems good. Bonecrusher seems good. Can you shave like some of these all seeds? Try this. Let's try this. Our Sultan made him in Rogue, so next to beat in Standard. I haven't played Standard in like two or three weeks. It's my first time playing Standard in a long time, so. Oh my god. I found I found Winona! Yay! Alright, so we're gonna mulligan his hand because this is literally all uh, all killer, no filler. 
All right, sure. Keep this. Ship land. Love Shark Beast again. That was a good draw. That was a really good draw. That fills up my entire curve. That's great. Bring it. Bring it. Ooh. Opponent's not curving out. I'd like to see that. Make some white. Make some professors. Make some, make some flyers. Professor. Where's the reverse, reverse mohawk? I was gonna do it today, but Nicole wasn't up when I when I uh when I got ready to stream, so eventually, hashtag soon. Trust me, I want to cut all his hair off. I'm really I'm really sick of it, so reverse mohawk is coming. Today would today would have been a good day too. I could have gotten a haircut tomorrow, but whatever. At some point, at some point soon. What is going on? Summoning. Attack. We got the curve, folks. We got one, two, three, four, one other. It's all it takes. It's all it takes. We're no one a rider. Love Shark Beast, sure. And then attack, sure. We are doing Bronze and Mythic as well, yes. Let's play this. Play summoning, say go. All right, sweet. We got the we got the curve here. One, two, three, four. Let's just play like uh, sure. Brush elemental's fine. That's pretty good. Pretty good. This is an attack, but we're gonna attack back for a lot. Take ten. Now, I really want to hit a Spellbinder off of this Winona. Take the Embercleave they probably have in their hand. Hopefully no Stomp here, too. They definitely have Stomp. 100%. Alright. Uh, here we go. Winona Rider! We're going to Stomp my 2-1. I mean, I'd rather have a 2-1 than a Savior at this point, so sure. Save that. Attack. Triggers. Spellbinder or Kenny? It's gotta be Spellbinder. We're gonna die to a... We're gonna die to a... Uh, an Evercleave. Nope, they have three lands in their hand. But we got Historian. It's pretty good too. So now you have, you have Double Strike. So... 6, 10, 14 damage coming across here. We need to we need to block the love struck beast on the way back, and I mean we just killed them on the way back, so this is good for us. This is good for us. We like this. We like this. Not even blocking. No, I guess I can't block and then the beast can't attack. Going to one life point. One life point. What's up, Ratchet? Please don't draw Embercleave. Innkeeper. That is not good enough. I don't know what, what they're doing because what, what I guess they have, they, they have to draw like a one mana or a spell. So we have to block, otherwise we die. Um, I guess we actually block. Okay, they're dead. That was that was easy. I guess. Uh, sure. All right, one match from Diamond. Diamond. Winona's still very powerful. It's just like the cards around it are hard. It's hard to really find like the right cards around it. That's definitely the, uh, that's been Winona's problem for the last like, like five months it feels like, where it's just so good, but the cards around it are just so awkward. Let's go. 
Blizzard Brawl or Frostbite. I think Frostbite would have done it too. Would have killed the flyer. Uh, I love it. I love it. Keep. Red and white changelings? Well, those wouldn't trigger when, when they attack, so. Island. Okay, island go, no companion. Sure. August says, love the showdown against Reed. Great content. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. If you missed it, uh, the Mog Monday showdown is, was on Monday. Every first Monday, every month, I challenge another content creator to a showdown. And Reed Duke was my guest this time. Great episode. Go watch it on YouTube. Uh, great, great episode. So they're Esper colors. It's just summoning, I think. I don't think flying is going to matter that much. All right. Well, they're just kind of like not doing anything. So I think we're actually just going to Spellbinder here and just see what's up. I don't like what's what's going on here. I'm not, I'm not willing to play my summoning and just like get wrath or something like that. Let's see what's up. Extinction event, Shadows, Verdict, Negate. So pretty good. Um, but now I can play Winona next turn. Well, it's only for one trigger. Extinction event is awkward. Shadow's Verdict is good, but won't deal with Winona and the five drop or four drop it hopefully gets. It's Extinction Event. Let's go for Winona next turn. We have two of them also, so. Blade Historian, also good. But we just go for the value here, I think. We could have story and attack for 10. And then they, like, play Shadow's Verdict. And we just, like, kind of kill them. But... now nah, we're going to play this one. One trigger. Oh. Come on! We needed that one, folks. We really needed that one. Yeah, I think it was a lot of fun. All right, so um, they have Extinction Event available. So playing an odd costed creature here would be good. We don't actually have any options, though. That's super awkward. Uh, we could just play Skyclave, I guess. Everything's even for Extinction Event. Super awkward. All right, whatever. Naked Skyclave, get in for four. Blade Historian would get in for eight, and they would Extinction Event and kill both my creatures, and that's just not okay. So now if they, they Extinction Event or whatever and kill this, we can play another Winona, trigger again, and go for lethal. Want to stay on the board. So interesting, they chose to play the the four mana extinction event from their hand and not the six mana one and leave up negate. Um, but that's fine with us. Attack trigger, spellbinder, awesome. Looks at their hand, takes the negate, and now we have odds and evens in play. Put them to four, and now you can pretty easily play this. We'll have two odds and two evens. So bronze mythic has not happened yet. No, that'll be a little later today. It was Historic, then Standard, and then we'll do Bronze and Mythic. Sweet. Kind of a cool game. So, some sort of Extinction level event from our opponent here. Uh, bring in Redanes. Bring in, like, two Oxes. Going to shave... Skyclaves. I'll just call it a day. It's pretty pretty easy sideboarding. That's good. What did I play in Historic? I played uh, a uh, a Prismari Dragon Treasure deck that top aided the event I cast last weekend, the Stream League 3 event, built by Rats Relic. Uh, super fun deck, really, really cool. And then I played Green White Company, which probably did the best deck in the format. We can keep this. It's not ideal, we can keep it. 
Spellbinder's dope. This card's really, really good. One of the best white cards printed in a while. Feel it feels very white too. It kind of kind of taxing. You know, it's disruptive but not oppressive. Um, we're gonna see here. You need to draw some lands here, but is that a a, a Jeskai Triome? What is going on? They were like Demir in last game, weren't they? Oh, they, they? They had white lands too. Oh boy. Colors. The colors. And they're in a foretell a card? I have no idea what's happening. Not a clue. Not a clue. Dark Jeskai. Good science is here. Obviously, you can just play this as like a, a blue-white duel. Foretell. Alright. I mean, does not feel good, but we gotta uh, spend our turn just getting a land. Play planes and play all seed here. No point having two saviors in play. And they're gonna multiverse? Sure. Some sort of like weird control deck. Top bottom, sure. Pretty slow start from us, unfortunately. Um I have a lot of gas in our hand, obviously, but if they uh slow us down enough, won't matter. The Doom Foretold deck? Doom Foretold decks always play Yorian, so. Kenny! Okay. This deck benefit from the Golgari Companion? Uh. It's, it's a Boros deck. I mean, that's like. I don't think so. Your land number four, sure. Might be attacking into Shark Typhoon here. We have Stomp though, so. Could have played the Spellbinder first, but like, alright, so there's Shark Typhoon, sure. Not ideal, but fine. If I Spellbinder, I couldn't really attack there anyway. I kind of don't want to play Savior here because that puts a lot of stuff in play if they have a Shadow's Verdict or a Extinction Event. I'll we'll just say go. Blood Chief Thirst, my professor. We're going to save this because... It attacks for two instead of one, and then it also is at odd, odd cost. Let's save this. Spellbinder disables cycling on Shark Typhoon, but they just cycle it in response to you casting Spellbinder. At that point, maybe we have no mana left over, so. What was the, yes, everything today will be on YouTube. Anything you missed will be on YouTube. Alright, Spellbind you. Give me a look. Give me a looky Lou. What's going on over there? Saw it coming? Sure. I mean, this has been a game where we're not really doing much, but they aren't either, and they're slowly dying to our crappy creatures. And because we were kind of land screwed early, we have a lot of spells in our hand, so... Could be worse. They have Shadow's Verdict here, we have Spellbinder plus, uh, plus, plus Savior. Oh, they're passing, it's not me. Untap, sure. Uh, we're gonna Spellbinder here and see what's up. Now we do Ox, it's a pretty good draw too. So now we can actually grind a bit. Mr. Pig says, love the YouTube channel trailer, it was very fun. Thank you, my friend, I appreciate that. Maddie B did a great job on it. Vanishing Verse targeting Professor of Symbiology. We're gonna save that. Oh my God. All right, they got me. Professor of Sun Biology is no longer on the battlefield. It is no longer in this realm of existence. 
Their hand is another Vanishing Verse, a Heartless Act, and a Solemn Simulacrum. Uh, okay. I mean, Solemn actually blocks pretty well. And it's also, like, the only two-for-one in their hand. So their hand is, like, two Doom Blades. It's honestly, like, not that good. We have a lot more gas than they do. We have four spells there, too. I mean, they can cast Solemn for six, obviously, but... Okay, they drew Extinction Event. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Pretty good draw. Pretty good draw. I'm not gonna lie. No lies here. Pretty good draw. Professor. Alright, there's Bone Crusher's savior here. Bark, bark, bark. And again, having Ox and Kenny in my hand is pretty wild. We have a lot to do. Land, sure. Bark, bark, bark. Why did I sacrifice? Was it put the card in the graveyard? Why Why not sacrifice? Would, you know? Still have summoning. We still have both summonings in our, in our sideboard. Alright. Uh, draw land, sure. Uh, attacking. They're going to kill my... Verse it, so that, that's fine. Take some damage. Back for one. Knock, knock. Make a three, two. Now we, we draw a land. We also have the, uh, we also have the, uh, the haste on Kenny too. Save it. We'll save it. All right. All they have left is Solomon. Cost six mana, and the card they just drew. The card they just drew is Bane Slayer Angel. Unreal. All right. So uh, sure. Here's Kenny. Haste and Trample not very good here. Uh, this is first strike. Yeah. Let's go. Pretty good draw, pretty good draw. I mean, now we just need to draw, um, we play Ox, draw three. This Haste and Trample isn't very good. All right, all their lands are in play. They're all in. Oh, Winona Ryder. Uh, okay, that's pretty dope. So you'll get we're gonna get two triggers here. Let's freaking just do it. Let's freaking just do it. I didn't come here to not do it. Let's go. First trigger. Nothing. Okay. Second trigger. Spellbinder. Okay. That was uh that was not ideal. Uh could have been better. But still in good shape here, I think. They block this, they take four, five, six, seven, eight, they take ten, there's dead. This is not this is not a good block from our opponent. Um I guess our things have trample too, right? They're just dead anyway. It doesn't actually matter. So they block, kill us first strike, go to 10. And then tramples over. We have more than uh, 10 damage and trample. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Boom! Okay. Blouses. After it was all over. He took us in the house to service pancake. All right, so two one, two one with our Winona deck, and uh, deck feels similar to previous Winona decks, uh, where when it works, it is very, very powerful, but when things go wrong, it gets very, very awkward. Man is a little awkward, curves a little awkward. Professor was definitely great, uh, played a story, and obviously great off Winona. Um, I mean, Spellbinder. I kind of want the four Spellbinder, honestly. Usher of the Fallen, I do love this card, but it's just so bad in this format. It's just so bad against Bone Crusher. It's so bad against uh, Lovestruck Beast. Um, Kenny's good, but I don't know if you need as many humans. Maybe, 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 maybe. I'm not sure. Why no Aspirant? What is Aspirant? Oh, the, the two drop? That card just kind of sucks. I think that card's not good. Um, it's terrible against Stomp. 
just slow. It's something that card's very good. It's fine, but I, I don't love it. Um, yeah, that's cool. YouTube folks, I love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Your YouTube comment of a day is, oh my God, they killed Kenny. All right, love you, YouTube. Thank you.